I'm from Los Angeles and I'm a third year studying WFCB. Our research is about the aggregating anemone Anthoplera elegantissima. Anthoplera elegantissima is the most abundant species of anemone found on the rocky shores of Western North America. It's unique because it reproduces asexually by creating genetically identical clones of itself and has a symbiosis with a photosynthetic microalgae called zooxanthellae, giving it its bright coloration. What we don't know is if there is variation in the morphology of anemones living in different wave-exposed environments. Our study is measuring and comparing the characteristics of two populations of anemones in the open coast and harbor to see if there are quantifiable differences in their appearance and how those differences may help them survive in specific environments. My name is Adrian, I'm from the San Fernando Valley, and I'm currently a fourth year wildlife fish conservation biology major at UC Davis. For me, research is really exciting because you never know what you're going to find. You have like the possibility of discovering something new that no one has done before. Um, research is so exciting because it's really hands-on. Um, I literally have to wake up in the morning and go out to the tide pools and to the mud flats and I'm out collecting specimens in the field and take them back to the lab where we run our experiments on them. It's really exciting to find something new that you know, maybe no one has ever discovered before. To perform our experiment, we identified colonies of the anemones in Campbell and Horseshoe Cove. Once identified, we numbered the colonies and measured the diameter of each member of the colony. After that, we took members of the colony from the inner and outer portion of the colony back to the lab to take pictures for measurements of their tentacle length, tentacle width, and the height of them. To measure flow in each area, we placed five chalk blocks in each site just to find out the erosion rates of each site. If our hypothesis is correct and the outer coast has more water flow than the inner harbor, then we expect the anemones on the outer coast to have smaller columns and shorter, thicker tentacles to reduce the risk of getting ripped off the rocks by strong waves. In the harbor, the anemone should have longer columns as well as longer and thicker tentacles to increase their chances of catching prey in a low flow zone. Being one of the most abundant invertebrates on the Pacific coast, it's important to understand everything we can about these organisms. With climate change bringing more extreme weather conditions, understanding if these anemones are able to adapt to different wave conditions is important in seeing if they have the capacity to survive in changing environments. Um, what I value most about research is that I've always had an interest in learning of new things and understanding how like the world works. Doing research here at the Bodega Marine Laboratory has led me to be surrounded by like a lot of amazing people and professors. It taught me a lot of new skills that I'll like surely be able to like apply in future careers.